Columbus Division of Police. They're welcoming its first class of recruits. More, they say, that looks like they represent the community it's supposed to serve. The department says this new class is full of diversity. NBC 4's Alan Henry is live at the Columbus Police Training Academy with a look at why this push for diversity is such a hard one. Alan. Well, Darlene, I caught up with that class of 42 new recruits this morning as they begin a journey that's going to test them both mentally and physically. And those recruits got a taste, their first taste of the physical side of things this morning as they took a lap run around the academy building here. But the department tells me the real focus here is on the academic side of things, learning the laws they'll enforce and how to best enforce them. Now, of the men recruits, there are four black, two Hispanic, one Asian, and one Native American. American and five who identify as other. There are also four female recruits, one who is black. Now overall, the class is a little more than 40% diverse. Mayor Ginther has set a goal of doubling diversity within the ranks of Columbus police, an effort that has proved difficult as many diverse hires from the last big push 20 to 30 years ago are now retiring. The department says they want the best people for the job, but it's also important to have that diversity so they can represent the city and people they serve. Certain people tend to have a comfort level in seeing someone who looks like them or talks like them or can relate to. Not that other officers cannot do that, but it is definitely important sometimes to just have that diversity to show that we are willing and able to help everybody in the city of Columbus. And coming up at 530, I spoke to two of those new recruits who shared with me their reason for joining the academy and what they say they'll represent as Columbus police officers. Live and local for you in Columbus, Alan Henry, NBC4.